Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien. Me alegro. Sí, llegando del trabajo. Pesado, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, ya se acabó el lunes. Sí, típico lunes. <ríe> ok, vamos a esperar a los demás compañeros unos minutos.
Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the English class. Espero que han tenido un buen fin de semana. Vamos a estar iniciando entonces este día. Okay, como siempre vamos a revisar la parte de la plataforma. Entonces ya está acá el, la pregunta. La pregunta de esta noche después del video. Y habíamos hablado de que ya se iba a hacer la actividad 10, que es la que está acá, ¿verdad? Sería un como repaso. Five questions. Y luego de eso íbamos a hacer el midterm test. Entonces vamos a revisar a ver quiénes faltan de determinar esto. Es muy importante que se termine. O sea, hay algunos que les escribí ahí en el grupo para que se pudieran hicieran al día, pero hay algunos que todavía faltan. A la vela no está, ¿verdad? Me falta ella. A ver. Irving Alexander Díaz no está, ¿verdad? Me falta él también. Y creo que los demás ya están al día, ¿verdad? Me falta Maribel también. Maribel no ha venido, ¿verdad? Bien. Hello, Maribel. Hola, sí, está. Hello. Dice que me falta una tarea de la semana pasada, así digamos, ¿verdad? Y el meet and Ah, no, no, no me acordaba que había que hacer el fin de semana. Hay que hacerlo. Si se puede, después de la clase lo hace porque sí hay que mandar las notas. Ya mañana las mando. Um, los demás estamos en paz al día. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. Vamos a pasar lista entonces. To check. How is everything going? Let me just check here. Okay. Okay, vamos a iniciar entonces. Ahora ve la parada Games. Carlos Jaime Pozo Tobar Daniel Freddy Sarabia Campos Present Good Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodríguez Present Good Danilo Ernesto Rodríguez Fernández Doris Raquel Hernández González Present Good El sino de mí, Alemán Gómez. Present teacher. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Juárez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Alexander Díaz Rivera. Irving Osmín Rodríguez Jurado. Present teacher. Good. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Good. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Present teacher. Good. Metsi Damaris Molina Guevara. Oscar Antonio Alvarado Martínez. Rafael Vladimir Romero Mancía. Present. Good. Santos Maribel Aquino Iraeta. Present. Good. Ulises Edgardo Jacobo Villanueva. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Susana Romero Lebrón. Present teacher. Good. And Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Present teacher. Very good. Ok, ahora sí estamos terminando. La segunda semana. Como iniciamos martes, por eso vamos un día atrasados. Entonces hoy terminamos. Vamos a hacer repaso, vamos a utilizar el libro eh, y vamos a ir terminando ya este tema. Ya el lunes, bueno, no, mañana, nos toca ya un tema diferente, ya un tiempo diferente. So, that is going to be interesting. So, let's see. I'm going to, vamos a iniciar con un pequeño video. Oh, this got stuck. Let's wait a little moment. Ah, here is it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<coughs> ok. Ok, vamos entonces a ver este pequeño video. Let's see how it goes. Teacher, no escucho nada. No sé si soy yo o qué, pero no escucho nada. Ni Los demás no escuchan. No, no, no se escucha. Ni se, ni está paralizado. No la, se escucha. No, no, está frisada la pantalla. Ah, that's weird. Let me just check. Hold on a second. Um, vamos a hacerlo de otra manera. ¿Y si veían el video o no lo veían? No, no se veía. No, no se miraba, estaba, estaba parado ahí. En pausa. Ok. Vaya, vamos a tratar. A ver, lo voy a correr un momento y ustedes me dicen si ven y escuchan. ¿Ahora? Sí. Sí se escucha. Qué raro. Ok, vamos a ver. Quizás el objetivo, este video es un poco... Eh, ella habla bien rápido. Vamos a ver qué podemos captar de lo que dice. Quizás ese es el objetivo de este, este video, para ver qué logran captar, palabras claves, y de luego ver la idea general del video. So here we go. Hi, my name is Audrey Thomas, founder of Organize Audrey. And in today's Productivity Pointer, I'm going to challenge you on the topic of how often are you checking your emails. When I do my email training and I ask the participants in my workshops the same question, it's kind of fun to watch their faces because some of them don't even want to make eye contact with me and others say things like, well, I think I'm checking my email probably about every 15 minutes and other people just admit, you know, I think I'm just checking my email all the time. Well, if you are checking your email every five minutes, that means you're checking your email almost a hundred times a day. And research right now is showing that we check our cell phones 150 times a day. So is it any wonder why at the end of the day, sometimes we say to ourselves, I don't feel like I got anything done except check email. Um, I met a CEO of a sales organization um, over the last, uh, it was probably about a year or two ago. And she said to me that she used to check her email constantly. She said she would be reading her email on her phone as she walked into the ladies' room and she would be reading her email on the way out of the ladies' room. And she said, I was riding on an airplane next to a neurosurgeon. And she said, at the end of that flight, I had this epiphany that I'm not a brain surgeon, and what I do doesn't save lives. And she said, I realized right then and there that I did not need to be checking my email constantly. And I had probably been modeling that for the others in my organization. And so she went on to tell me about how she went back to her company and she just shared that with her team and her management team saying, we've got to start checking our emails a lot less. 
and she discovered that she could. She could check her emails three to five times a day and the world didn't end and her company didn't go out of business. And so I hope that you've enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey and I hope that you've also been challenged in the idea and the question of how often am I checking email and what's the least number of times that I could be checking it. Make it a great day. Ok, a ver, ¿qué entendimos? Yo entendí una palabra, emails. Ok. <ríe> Los demás compañeros, ¿alguna idea, palabra? Quizás ideas general y luego vamos a ver qué, qué es lo que, de qué se trataba el, el video. No sé si es como idea mía, pero en alguna parte pensé que decía como que en algunas ocasiones revisaban el email cada cinco minutos, pero otras cada veinte. Ok, good, that's good, nice. Y, yes, que, yes. y que se lo revisaba cada cinco minutos, como que al final del día la, lo, lo revisó casi cien veces. Cien veces, imagínense ustedes. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más recuerdan? ¿Alguien más? ¿Algo, ¿Alguna otra cosa que hayan entendido? Nada más. Sí, hablaba bastante. Ajá. Hablaba bastante rápido, ya, ¿verdad? Muy rápido. Pero sí creo que la idea más o menos por ahí va. Lo que estaba diciendo ella era que preguntaba cuántas veces usted chequea su correo. Y que había gente que lo chequeaba cada cinco minutos, cada diez minutos. Y que tenía una amiga que era una CEO. ¿Se acuerdan que es CEO? Mm. All right. Dígame one second. Un gerente de, Chief de Financial Officer. Ah, ese es el CFO. El CEO es el mero jefe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ese es el, el mero. El gerente administrativo era ¿no? de, con, de la compañía. Very good. Entonces, que esa, esa, esa chica, esta gerente, eh, revisaba el correo cuando iba al baño, cuando salía, que iba a agarrar el avión y lo revisaba. ¿Y qué Teacher, se ¿Cómo se dice esa? CEO. CEO, ajá. Y, y que es, pues. What's mean? What's mean? Se significa Chief Executive Officer. Entonces, que, que, que mucho lo revisaba, pues que no era necesario. Que ella pensó, bueno, que iba en un vuelo. Escucharon lo del aeropuerto, que estaba a la par de un sergeant. ¿Saben qué es sergeant? No. Ok, Sergio es cirujano. Y que el cirujano también está viendo ahí el correo, pero pensó ella, pues yo no salvo vida, ¿verdad? No. No es que sea así como que me haga importante estar chequeando el correo y que ahora lo revisa 15, cada, no, unas 5 veces al día. Y que no se acabó el mundo, no sé, la compañía no se fue a la quiebra, nada de eso pasó. Y que a veces Ay. pasamos demasiado tiempo en el teléfono con el correo que no es muy productivo. So that was the video about. Teacher, well, can you spell me surgeon? Surgeon. Uh, S U R G E N. Surgeon. Surgeon. Yeah, surgeon. Thank you. You're welcome. Entonces esa era la idea. El video lo pueden encontrar los que tienen el libro digital. Ahí el principio de la unidad 2, usted le da clic al video y lo puede volver a ver. Le puede poner subtítulos, lo puede poner más lento. Eh, estos videos son interesantes, quizás este es un poco rápido. Pero hay algunos videos que podríamos empezar a ver para también escuchar el acento y cómo hablan otras personas. Pero no algo tan rápido, ¿verdad? No, no vayan a querer hacer algo como muy, muy rápido. Hay, hay videos tranquilos, lentos, en los que le explican algún tema o hablan de alguna cosa. Y es, es, es bueno empezar a hacer ese tipo de actividades de a poco, ¿ok? Any questions with the video? <laughs> Más adelante vamos a ver otro video. Ese es un poquito diferente. But by now we're going to start with the book. ¿Ok? Vamos a revisar entonces el libro. Ya habíamos iniciado la unidad 2. Vamos a continuar. Ok, ongoing activities at the workplace. And it says, I will be able to provide instructions for actions or activities in simple commands. 
que hay, creo que se entiende ahí lo que, te, lo que queremos o lo que, de qué se trata este. Number one, it says, how often do you write memos? A ver, um, Guadalupe, how often do you write memos? Quiero mm. <clears throat> ver. ¿Con qué frecuencia lo qué frecuencia hago? Lo hago. Ajá. How often do you write memos? Mm. No sé cómo contestarle, Ticha. Con la verdad y nada más que la verdad. <risa> <risa> no, usted me puede decir once a year, once a month, three times a week. ¿verdad? Siempre que es how often, se acuerda que es como de frecuencia. Usted me puede decir always, never, sometimes, something like that. Sometimes. Sometimes. Very good. And uh, Veronica, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Repeat, please, teacher. Yes, of course. Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Uh -huh. Ahí está la pregunta en el libro, ¿verdad? En pantalla. Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? ¿Qué es co-workers? A ver, ¿alguien sabe qué es co-workers? Compañeros, Compañeros de, trabajo. de trabajo. Compañeros de trabajo. Entonces la pregunta es, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Co-workers, mm. eh, never. Never, okay. Never. Perfect, very good. In my boss, my boss. Okay, good. <laughs> only so, my boss. Only to your boss, good. So the number two is as listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Vamos a hacer la conversación. Please repeat everybody. Please send this package. Please send this package. Please send this package. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Do you need anything else? Do you, Do you need, need anything else? Actually, yes. Actually, Actually yes. 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 Actually. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Right away. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Sure. Sure, sure here you go. go. Oh, and look. Oh, oh and look. look. And look. Please supervise the new intern. <clears throat> Please, Please provide new Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Veamos vocabulario primero. Package. ¿Qué era package? Package. Paquete o algo. Paquete, definitivamente. Mm -hmm. And send. What is send? Enviar. Yeah. Enviar. Good. Ma'am. ¿Se acuerdan que es ma'am? Mm -hmm. Era, el contrario de sir. El contrario, uh -huh. sir. Era señora, pero así bien muy respetuosamente, ¿verdad? Yes, ma'am. Ok. Eh, luego dice, actually, ¿qué era actually? De hecho. De hecho. De very hecho. good. Nice. Luego dice, general meeting, right away. ¿Qué es right away? Por right. supuesto, tal vez. Uh, algo así. Uh, right away es como cuando nosotros decimos ahorita, ¿verdad? En este momento lo hago. Entonces, si alguien le dice que haga algo y usted lo va a hacer en el momento, right away. Okay. 
Luego dice, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Creo que hay una pregunta. Sure. Here you go. ¿Qué es here you go? Aquí vas. Aquí vas. Esto es literal, pero here you go es cuando yo le digo, tenga pues, aquí tiene. Aquí tienes. Ajá. Entonces, si yo le pido algo y usted lo agarra y me lo da, me puede decir, here you go. Yo también había escuchado se... ese teacher, pero como here you are. A ese les iba a decir también. Se puede decir, here you are. Here you are, o oh, here you go. Aquí tiene. ¿Ok? Mm. Estas hay que aprendérselas porque son bien comunes, ¿verdad? Son muy, muy, muy comunes. Uh, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Creo que después ya no hay preguntas. Do you have any question about the conversation? In terms, what mean? In terms, internos. Inter Any other question? Yeah. Okay, let's practice then. Vamos a iniciar con Maribel y Guadalupe. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Maribel. Hi, Guadalupe. You start. I start. Please send this packer. package. Package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please. Write um, a man about <clears throat> the new dates for the general meeting. 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 Right away. Give me one of the those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Us and look, look at, please supervise their new interest. Absolutely. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Veronica and Rafael. Okay. Uh, Veronica. Hi, Rafael. Uh, you need. Okay, please send this pack packet. Yes, ma'am. Did you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Very good, perfect. Now, Alfredo and Rachel. Uh, Rachel, you are Marcia. <laughs> Please send this, this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. And look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Perfect. Now, Elsie and Daniela. Hey, teacher. Hi, Daniela. Hi. Um, me eso. Um, okay. Sí. Please send this uh, packet. Yes, ma'am. Do you need? Anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about uh, the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me the one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here, do, here you go. Oh, and like, uh, please, supervisor. 
the new internet? Absolutely. 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 Very good. Now, Rachel and... No, no, Rachel. Sorry, Rachel. Ya pasó. Michelle and Irving. Okay. Hi, Irving. Good, good evening. Hi, Michelle. Okay. I start with you, Irving. Come. Empiece. <laughs> you start. Uh, please in this package. Package. Yes. Package. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, as you go, as you go, oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Very good, perfect. Now, Juan, no creo que no sé si va a estar o aún está con, con el trabajo. Oscar Alvarado. Hello. Hello. Le va a ayudar entonces Daniel Freddy Sarabia. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Oscar. Can this package? Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memory about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one toss memo. Sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new items. Absolutely. Very good, perfect. Now, Ulises and. Mm -hmm. Ya pasamos todos. Vamos a repetir con Elsie. Okay. Um... Yes, first of all, I mean, whatever you want. Falto yo, teacher. ¿Quién? Ah, tiene razón, Marisol. Bueno, entonces Marisol okay. le va a ayudar a Luis para quedar cabales. Thank you, Elsie. Okay. Eh, please set the pie. package. Package. Yes, Mahan. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of two memo seeker, please. So, here you go on Auntie Luca. Please. <laughs> Supervise the new internet. Absolutely. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do the figure it out. Oops. This is here. Okay. Complete the following commands. Se acuerdan que era un command. Es órdenes. Ordenes. De hecho, ahí en el número cuatro, ahí están los, lo que es, ¿verdad? Dice, commands. Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. Just please plus the command to sound more polite. For example, please place an order for more boxes. 
call the supervisor, please. Entonces, en el número tres dice, complete the following commands. Use the conversation above as reference. Y el número uno, ¿qué, ¿cómo podría quedar ese command? Write. Please write. Ok, Amen. write or please write. Very good. A memo about the new date. Number two. Teacher, pero si se le escribe please, ya no es como tan common. Y es más polite. Siempre puede uh -huh. ser un command, pero pues se puede hacer un poco más, más polite, ¿verdad? Ya es un request. Uh -huh. Ok, number two. Give, give me one. Very good. Give me one of those stickers. Those, saben ustedes que es those. Es aquellos, pero en plural. Ajá, aquellos, esos. Very good. And the number three, who is going to be? Supervise. Supervise the new intern. Entonces, esto es como un repaso del... ¿De cuál tiempo? A ver si se acuerda. Present, sí. Present. Simple no. present. Mm. Por ahí. Es parte del simple present, pero es imperativo. Imperativo. Ajá. Cuando decíamos, close the door, sit down, don't shout at me. Todo eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, es un repaso de eso. Vamos a ver el otro video que nos toca. Siempre tratemos de ver, ver de qué está hablando, ¿verdad? De, de, si captamos una que otra idea. Eso es lo importante. Ok. Let's see. Lo voy a correr un momento y ustedes me dicen si se mira o no se mira. Si se escucha o no se escucha. Hi, this is Alex. Thank you. Sí. No. Sí, se escucha. Sí, se escucha. Sí, se escucha. Sí, se ve. Ok, vamos a, a verlo. Thank you for clicking and welcome to this beginner lesson on adverbs of frequency. Now, adverbs of frequency are words that tell someone how often you do something. Ok, so today we will look at some of the most common adverbs of frequency. These are very, very important words when you are discussing routines with other people and telling them how often you do something. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five of the most common adverbs of frequency. Okay, there are others. These are some of the most common. So if you'll see, I have always, usually, often, sometimes, and never. Okay, so if we read these sentences, the first sentence says, I always pay my rent. When you always do something, it happens every time. You do it all of the time. So if you look at this arrow pointing up, we have from 0% to 100% of the time you do something. So if you always do something, you do it 100% of the time. So I always pay my rent. I always take a shower before bed. Okay, the next one just below always is the word usually. I usually get up at 7.30. So usually means like most of the time, okay? Usually 90% of the time I do this, okay? I always pay my rent. I usually get up at 7.30. Often, just below usually, I often read before bed, okay? So again, often probably more than 50%, more than 50% of the time you read before bed. Sometimes means some of the time. So sometimes probably 30%, 40% of the time, I sometimes visit my mother. You should visit your mother often, probably, so it's if you want to be a good son or a good daughter. And never means none of the time, none of the time, 0%, okay? so. I never go 
to expensive restaurants. Okay, so once again, these are some of the most common adverbs of frequency. And what these words do is tell someone how often you do something. Okay, so again, always 100% of the time. I always wake up at 6 o'clock to go to school. I always have lunch at 12 o'clock. Usually, most of the time, 90% of the time, I usually get up at 7.30. I usually see my friends on the weekend. I often read before bed, just a little bit under usually. So over 50%, maybe 60% of the time, I often read before bed. Sometimes, some of the time, below 50%. I sometimes visit my mother. I sometimes get an oil change for my car. You should get it every 5,000 kilometers, but anyway. And I never go to expensive restaurants 0% of the time. Okay, so again, never, never, none of the time, sometimes, some of the time, often, not most of the time, just below most of the time, a lot of the time, usually, most of the time, always, all of the time. If you'd like to do a quiz on these words and adverbs of frequency, you can check out engvid.com. My name is Alex, thanks for watching and take care. Ok, a ver, este creo que sí lo entendimos un poquito más. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? ¿De qué hablaba el video? ¿Qué entendimos? Eh, los adverbios de frecuencia, de que va del 100% como el que siempre, pum, siempre, uh -huh. al menos, 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 hasta llegar al mega. Es un Very good, perfect, nice. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna palabra? ¿Algo más que hayan escuchado? De los comandos de frecuencia, dice. Ok, very good. Ajá, otra idea. ¿Palabras nuevas? ¿Vocabulario nuevo? Al ver este video y comparamos con el anterior, ¿cuál creen ustedes que es la diferencia? O sea, el otro era mucho más rápido y este era un poco más lento. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es eso? Que Ajá. este siento que está más dirigido así para, para estudiantes, como el nivel de comprensión quizás es menor. Exacto, esa es la diferencia, ¿verdad? Que, ajá, de los que me decían a mí, ¿verdad? A usted le entiendo bien, cabal, por eso, porque yo hablo despacio, tranquilo, porque lo, lo, mi intención es que ente, nos entendamos a pesar de tener un nivel básico. En cambio, la prim, el primer video era normal. La señora hablaba a un ritmo normal, como que estuviera hablando con un amigo, ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que nosotros cuando fuimos, ¿verdad? entonces, esa es una de las diferencias. También este último video me gusta mucho la pronunciación que él tiene. Se le sienten todas las T, incluso en five, ¿verdad? Five, la V se escucha bastante, porque así se tiene que pronunciar. O sea, si usted dice five, deme five, es como que en español estuviera diciendo, deme cinco de eso. Entonces, no, ¿verdad? That is not correct. Five con la V al final. That is very important. ¿Ok? So, este último video me gusta por eso y lo comparamos con el otro que es mucho más rápido. Se le entiende y todo, pero eh, ella habla normal. So, it's a very good practice. Como les decía, esta es una práctica que se puede hacer. La pueden hacer ustedes, pero hay que saber escoger para que no se vayan a frustrar. ¿verdad? Entonces, ya cuando ya estén en el intermedio, en el avanzado, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Lo que quieran ver, that is good. And lo que cuesta quizás es gramática vieja, old English. Hay palabras, o, o sea, si, si leen Shakespeare, por ejemplo, el inglés es bien, bien diferente. So, that is not recommended. Ok. Questions, ¿alguna pregunta o duda? let's continue with the book then here we are so how to use commands to order or tell someone to do something 
Vamos a repetir para ir viendo el pronunciation. Everybody, how to use, how to how use. use. commands to order, commands, commands to order. order, or tell someone, or tell, or tell someone. someone. To do something. To do something. Commands. 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 Please write a check. Please write a check. Send a memo. Send a memo. Check the report. Check the report. Supervise the employees. Supervise the employees. Go to a meeting. Go to, Go to a, a meeting. meeting. Ok. Estos creo que están bien claros todo lo que significa, pero igual, ¿tienen ustedes alguna pregunta o duda? No questions. Ok. And uh, part number five says, pair work. Brainstorm six things your classmate's boss needs him, her okay. to do tomorrow. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sorry, I have a question with the first sentence. Mm -hmm. I write a check. Mm -hmm. What's mean? Escribir un chequecito. Un check. <laughs> sí, ajá, pero se dice write porque usted le pone las números, las cantidades. Como en el cheque le pone el número y le pone la cantidad mm. de letras y le pone la firma, ¿verdad? Como Entonces, llenar un cheque. Algo así. Ajá. Write a check. Very good. Okay, any other question? Ok, so, eh, no vamos a hacer este exactamente así, pero let me ask you, Maribel, what you need to do tomorrow? Repeat, please. What do you need to do tomorrow? Um. <laughs> what do you need? Perdón, perdón. What do you need to do tomorrow? Um, tomorrow, um, I need. Eh. Um, uh, take a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe we all need that sometimes. Good. And, okay, perfect. Thank you, Maribel. Well, Lupe, what do you need to do tomorrow? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ay, teacher, no sé cómo contestar ahí. Con lo que usted me quiera contar. Cualquier cosa, bienvenida. In English. <risa> usted trate de ver si se equivoca. Le corregimos y aquí estamos para practicar. Don't worry. Láncese de cabeza. <risa> Ay. <coughs> la pregunta la entiende. Sí. Ok. So, what do you need to do tomorrow, tomorrito? Mm -hmm. No, teacher, no puedo contestar, no sé. ¿Y qué tiene que hacer mañana? Mm -hmm. uh, I work is in... And medicine in, in laboratories. Okay, in the laboratory. Okay, very good. So you need to do lots of paper, lots of reports, or maybe taking samples, things like that. Uh, check the report. Mm -hmm. um, as, um, um, I check the planificación. The planning, okay. Is um, mm, 
Pero eso, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. Alfredo, what do you need to do tomorrow? I need to write some documents. I will have a meeting with my boss. And I need to work with some experience about my clients. Okay, very good. Interesting. Thank you. Ulises, what do you need to do tomorrow? I need to pay a bill. Okay. Um, okay. I need to write report. I okay. need to make document for exportation. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Veronica, what do you need to do? Ajá, dígame. Perdón, aquí te rompa. Eso no sería have to, porque need pues, no es tanto así como que tengas que hacerlo. Sí, se puede de las dos maneras. O sea, si yo le pregunto qué necesita hacer mañana, es como que es necesario para usted hacer. Y es un poquito más suave que decir what do you need, what do you have to do. Bueno, es what do you have to do, como son obligations, se reducen las respuestas. En cambio, what do you need, me puede decir lo que tiene que hacer o lo que necesita hacer. Thanks. You're welcome. Verónica, what do you need to do tomorrow? Uh, I need I need to go to uh, work mm -hmm. and uh, send, send a memo. Okay. Check the report. Okay. I need to assist my boss. Mm -hmm. um, order documents. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Daniela, what do you need to do tomorrow? I need a uh, grab early. Okay. Uh, after arrive on time to my work, prepare, prepare, report the new clients. Okay. Uh, attend a meeting with my co workers. Okay, very good. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Elsie, what do you need to do tomorrow? Okay. I need to I need to drink a coffee in the morning. Okay. I, I need to take a shower. Okay. I need to um meeting my boss. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Sarabia, what do you need to do tomorrow? I need to finish the draw the plans. Okay. In my work. Okay, very good. Thank you. And uh, Rachel, what do you need to do tomorrow? Oh, to visit the project or a project in a country. Oh my goodness, that is nice. So it's a long trip, I guess. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Michelle, what do you need to do tomorrow? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. I have I have to make sales reports. Uh, clean and other product. Okay. And the make of the, the products. Okay. Finish. Perfect. Eh, pregunté a eh, Michelle de esto que, que me preguntó y me dicen de que allí va el certificado, pero como este programa nosotros no damos el certificado en línea, sino que se lo manda Insafor de aquí a unos dos, tres meses lo van a estar recibiendo. Entonces, por eso le sale esa pantallita, pero pues no es nada del otro mundo, ¿ok? No es nada grave. No, 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 no worries. Ok, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Eh, Marisol. What do you need to do tomorrow? Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, I need to report. Okay. I need to order documents. 
Okay. He and to try coffee in the morning. Okay, that is important. Very good. Thank you. Irving, what do you need to do tomorrow? <clears throat> Hello, Irving. Repeat, please, teacher. Yeah, what do you need to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I... I do tomorrow um, in class at seven o'clock. Okay. Very good to be in class at seven o'clock. That is nice. Thank you. Rafael, what do you need to do tomorrow? Um, go out, go out to work, mm -hmm. get home, eat and sleep. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Oscar, what do you need to do tomorrow? I need a, a, a work. Um, I need um, check in mail. Okay. Uh, um, Making why um, client. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, now we know what we need to do tomorrow. Okay, we finish this, and now we're gonna go with this one. Um, ongoing activities at the workplace, simply at unit two. I will be able to state the frequency of activities I do in my work. Use expressions to state urgency or commands. Um, ¿hay alguna pregunta en este pequeño párrafo de introducción? No questions. And number one, it says, let's start. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? Um, well, I believe that eso es algo más o menos que estamos diciendo, que tenemos que hacer. What is something you never do in your work? También esta es la misma pregunta. Quizá antes de hacer el pequeño reading, vamos a pasar lista. Vamos a hacer la pausa. And we're going to check the attendance para no interrumpir la otra actividad. Ok, Arabella Parada Gámez. Presente. Good. Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. Daniel Freddy Sarabia Campos. Daniela, good. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Danilo Ernesto Rodríguez Fernández. Doris Raquel Hernández González. Present. Good. Elsie Noemí Alemán Gómez. Present. Good. Guadalupe, Guadalupe del Carmen Juárez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Alexander Díaz Rivera. Irving Osmín Rodríguez Jurado. Present teacher. Good. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Good. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Good. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Here I am. Good. Metsi Damaris Molina Guevara. Oscar Antonio Alvarado Martinez. Present. Good. Rafael Vladimir Romero Mancía. Present. Good. Santos Maribel Aquino Iraeta. Present. Good. Ulises Edgardo Jacobo Villanueva. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Susana Romero Lebrón. Present teacher. Good. Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Present teacher. Perfect, Tirgio. Ok, uh, solo voy a hacer el comercial, permítame. ¿Dónde está esto? Teacher. Hola. Hoy, hoy me pongo al día antes que me regañe. Ah, sí, eso le iba, no la regaño, yo le comento, ¿verdad? 
porque sí, allá sí. le preguntan a uno qué pasó y, y cosas por el estilo. Entonces, solo de ponerse el día con las tareas, ¿verdad? Hay que llevarlo todo nice. En sí. darle una... Igual si tiene preguntas o dudas, recuerde que me puede preguntar, ¿ok? Sí, muchas gracias, teacher. Hoy, hoy me pongo el día, primero de Dios. Perfecto. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to continue then with the book. We are going to check a little video on that one. Okay? Uh, no, it's a, it's a reading, not a video. Okay, vamos a repetir, everybody. Hello, my name is John Wilson. Hello, my, Hello, name, my, name, is John Wilson. my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I, I work, work in, in an office. office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. Every, Every day, day I check, check emails email for the company. company. I always answer the phone. I, I always, always answer, answer the phone. phone. And talk to potential employees. And, and talk to potential employees. employees. Generally. Generally. Generally I attend meetings in the morning. I attend meetings in the morning. And not so often in the afternoon. And not so often in the afternoon. In my company. In my company. We always have events. We always have events. We have to attend a conference. We, we have to attend a conference on July 21st. On July, on July, July 21st. 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting. And, and then, then we have, have to attend a meeting, a meeting, a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. About the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. I am always busy. Okay, let's check some vocabulary. Let's say, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. Recordemos que an office porque la siguiente lleva vocal, vowel, an office. I'm, cuando decimos este, siempre recordemos pronunciar la M. I'm a human resources manager. Uh, every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone. Creo que no hay mucho. Potential employees, what is that? Potenciales empleados. Muy bien, que no son, pero podrían ser. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference in July. Creo que no hay otro. ¿Tienen ustedes alguna pregunta en, la, en el reading? ¿Qué es esa última palabra de busy? Busy, muy bien. Busy, busy es estar ocupado. Siempre ocupado. Busy is ocupado, sí. Ocupado. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other question? Sí, share. Diga. Eh, ay, perdone la ignorancia. No, dígame. Pero ahí donde dice July 21 es sí, July 22 en ti. ¿Por qué? No, no, no. Viste que cuando Porque los franceses yo, bueno, invadieron, ajá. Eh, eh, hay uno que le ponen TH, ¿verdad? Sí. No, fíjense que estos son números ordinales. De hecho, por ahí los tengo, este, creo que esta semana que viene lo vamos a ver, o la siguiente, la última, lo vamos a ver porque es importante. Yo me imagino que en la primera semana vieron los números, ¿verdad? Los, la, en el primer módulo, los números. No. Eh, no lo vieron. Ah, los números naturales, creo que sí. sí. Ah, vaya. Entonces, sí. sí, los ordinales por ahí los tengo. Eh, entonces, pero no podemos ver los ordinales si no han visto los cardinales. Entonces, yeah. eh, bueno. vamos a, vamos bueno. a revisarlos. Pero estos son ordinales, ¿verdad? Los ordinales siempre llevan las letritas mágicas esas que ya vamos a ver de dónde vienen. Eh, pero sí, sí, es una pregunta importante. Y sí, yo cuando empecé sí. a dar este módulo, eh, vi que hacía falta ese tema y por eso siempre lo meto, ¿verdad? Y lo meto el de los números en el primer, en el primer módulo, pues, para ir ahí. Pero es, es nice la pregunta, I like it. Ok, teacher, thank you. Dígame. Eh, teacher, ¿cómo sería la correcta pronunciación ahí en July? Ah, okay. Sería 
July 21st. First. 20 first. es normal y el otro first. es first. Se los voy a deletrar para que lo puedan decir. Pero se lo voy a deletrar en inglés. F I R S T. Sería first. Y la otra sería July 22nd. Esa sí creo que no nos perdemos, ¿verdad? 22nd. Pero en, 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 en ese entonces, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Porque de ese 21, entiendo que la, la, ese 1 es como primero. Exacto. Y el, el otro es como segundo. Segundo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero si es 21. Nosotros en español decimos 21. En inglés tiene que llevar ordenado. Uh, yeah. Así sería, pero vamos a ver todos los números. Vamos a llegar hasta 1.853.424. Y nos vamos a aprender los números. Y después, cuando nos salgan, todos los vamos a saber. Good. Entonces, sí, por ahí lo tengo el temita y ya lo vamos a, a chequear. De hecho, cuando estaba haciendo cabal este reading, fue que se me ocurrió. Vamos a meter los números. So, don't worry. Por ahorita, solo para leer así, ¿verdad? 21st. 20 second. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? Pregunten, ¿verdad? Sin pena, aquí estamos. Para solventar cualquier pregunta de la vida existencial de este lado del universo. ¿Por qué existe el dolor en el mundo? Ahorita vamos a hablar, pero en inglés. Lo podemos discutir. En inglés. Nice. <risa> why, why everybody hurts? Because it's nice to feel and you feel good things and bad things that is natural and normal that's what i think <laughs> that is nice answer <laughs> okay good sí, dice que lo bonito cuando ya estén en el avanzado en el intermedio o el más avanzado es que ahí vemos los temas vemos la gramática y ya nos ponemos a discutir verdad por qué esta cosa dice que yo creo es todo en inglés bien nice ¿verdad? ahorita eh, a veces me dan ganas de, de hablar algún tema pero sí es un poco complicado vamos a llenarnos de vocabulario y de perder el miedo y luego pues allá en esos en esos módulos no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo para platicar se ponen buenas las discusiones Ok, voy a leer todo el párrafo y ustedes vean la pronunciation y luego ustedes leen. Ok, here we go. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Bueno, él sino a mí me dijo que quería ser la primera. Así de que... Ay, sí, sí, sí. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I, I always compliment the telephone and talk to the potential employees. General, I attend a meeting in the morning, not so often. In The afternoon, my company. However, we have to attend a conference on July 1st, and uh, we have to attend a meeting. Our conference on July 22nd, I am always busy. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now, Veronica. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in my office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and take to potential employees. Generally, Generally. I, attend, generally I attend meeting 
in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st in the in the how to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now Arabella. Okay. Um, the the hello there. the hello. Okay, hello. My name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential potential employees. Generally, I attend meeting e in the morning and no so often in the afternoon. In the company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July, July. 21st, first, first, uh, July, July, see, pardon, on July 21st and the, we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I, I am always busy. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, let's see, Alfredo. Hello, Alfredo. Yo creo que anda comprando peperechas. Vamos a ver. Juan López, no puede ver nada. Está en el trabajo. Maribel. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference, conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Daniela. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In the company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect. Now, um... Teacher, here I am. <laughs> ah, perfect. Dylan, Sorry. Don't, don't worry, I know that sometimes that happens. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and told the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we all get, always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. 
And then we had to attend some meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, um, Rachel. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm human resource manager. Every day I check my emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect. Now, Marisol. Hello, Marisol. También anda comprando pan dulce. Bueno, Michelle. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager every day. I check email, emails, 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 sorry. For the company, I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. General in attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the af afternoon. In my company, we always However, we have to attend a conference on July 21st and we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ulises. <clears throat> Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st in 10, we have to attend a meeting about the conference the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Daniel Sarabia. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in the office, in our office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check in email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employee, General, employee. Generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon in my company. We always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. July. July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference in July 20, 22nd. I am always busy. 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 Good, perfect. Let's see, Irving. Hello, Irving. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, I read, verdad? Sí, please. Okay. 
And hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I I am human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, uh, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21 city and they we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22 and I am always busy. Busy, okay, thank you. Uh, Rafael. Hello, Hello. My, name, my name is John Wilson. I work in office. I, I am a human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employer. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Very good, thank you. Now, Oscar Alvarado. Hello, my name is, is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always, always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I ate in meeting in the morning, the morning, and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference. Mm -hmm. On July uh, 21, 21st, 21st, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July, July, July uh, 22nd. Mm -hmm. I am always busy. Very good, perfect. Let's review algunas palabras en pronunciation. Uh, por ejemplo, human, human resources. Um, Creería yo que esas son las únicas. July, ¿verdad? Uh, y los números que ya lo vamos a ver. That is not a big deal. Lo demás creo que estuvo bien. Ok, do you have any question about the reading? Teacher. Ajá. Yo no repetí. Ah, no le creo. Démosle, pues le escuchamos. Hello, I work in an office at Young Human Resource every day for the company. I always answer the phone in the talk the potential employee. Generally, generally I open the meeting in the morning in in an oven in the afternoon. I am my company. We always have events to 
hosting a conference on July on July twenty first. And we have to the other meeting about the conference on July twenty first. I am always busy. Busy, okay. Very good, perfect. Se sí, se oye algo así, verdad? Como que Morfeo llegó y se lo llevó. <laughs> no sé quién será. Anyways, la moto va arrancando. Vamos a ver. <laughs> no casi el viernes. <laughs> Sí, lo que pasa es que no sé quién es. Ahorita vamos a tratar de descubrir. Vamos a tratar de adivinar. Ah, ya vi quién es. Bueno, sigamos entonces. Pero yo creo que quizás ahí a la par estaba, estaba la moto. No, no iba en la moto, sino que estaba a la par. Bueno, <ríe> sigamos. Mire, esto pasa a veces, ¿verdad? Yo a veces estoy en clase y de repente el pan va a querer pan. Entonces, hay de todo. So, aquí hay un par de preguntas. Dice, uh, si ustedes ven la indicación, el command, la instrucción arriba, dice, read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Y eso es lo que vamos a hacer aquí abajo. So, his name is John Wilkins. Is that correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. No, no, incorrect. no es incorrect. incorrect. Ajá. Porque se llama John Will Wilson, no John Wilkins. Ah, sí. ay, 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 ay. Entonces, ¿cómo quería ir a corregida la oración? His name is John Wilson. His name is John Wilson. John Wilkins es el lechero. A ese no lo vamos a meter. Number sí, sí. two. He writes reports every day. Uh -huh. Is that true or false? False. False. ¿Y cómo quedaría? Well. Corregida. He always answers the phone. Ah, ok. He answers the phone every day. Ahí podría quedar. Good. Mm -hmm. The number three says he never answers the phone and talks to customers. False. False. ¿Y cómo queda la corrección? He always answers the phone and talks with potential employees. Solo esa palabra ya cambia todo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. He always oh. answers the phone and talks to customers. Number four, he often attends meetings in the morning. True. That is true. Mm. Ah, it's false. No sé. Dice, I, uh, I attend minutes true. in the morning. Sí, es true. ¿verdad? Ok. Mm -hmm. eh, no le vamos a corregir. Number five. He never attends meeting in the afternoon. Mm. False. False. ¿Y cómo se diría entonces? Okay. No. He stops oh. in the afternoon. He stops and attends. Conference in the right. afternoon. He often attends meetings in the afternoon. Number six, he usually has events in his company. False. False. Como queda la corrección? He always has events. He always has events. Always. Very good. Uh, number seven, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. True. True. Vaya, esta es falsa. ¿Por qué es falsa? Porque decía Einstein que el tiempo es relativo. No, no es por eso. A ver, ¿qué día tiene que ir a la conferencia? Ah, July 21st. Ah, entonces, he has to go to a conference on July 21st. En July 22nd tiene que ir a la reunión y contar qué pasó en la conferencia. Pero a la conferencia tiene que ir el 22nd. Perdón, el 21st. Ya me confundí. Ahora, 
es bien interesante esto, es bien importante porque imagínense en inglés damos algo, una información que no es correcta. Ahí a alguien, ¿verdad? Mire, ¿cuándo tengo que ir a la conferencia? Al 22. Y se queda dormido el 21 y no va. Es bien delicado, ¿verdad? Porque una palabrita que digamos mal, pues, is not correct. Y después lo mandan a llamar de human resources. Y, not good, not good. Ok, we're not going to do that one. Ok, let's go to the next page. You need two ongoing activities at the workplace. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Esta está cortita, la vamos a hacer rápida. Everybody, please repeat. I really need that memo, Brie. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. I need, I to, need to speak, speak to Mr. Wilson, please. Please. It's very important. It's very, very important. important. Right away. Right, right, right away. Okay. Y ahí dice, expressions to state urgency. It's very important. Eso es para urgencia, ¿verdad? Muy importante. I really need. Yo de verdad necesito, ¿verdad? Que me regale 100 dólares porque... Bueno, eso es una urgencia, ¿verdad? Es para decir urgency. Uh, y lo demás creo que ahí está. Uh, right away, ¿qué era right away? Ahorita. Ahorita mismo lo hago, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a hacer entonces la conversation, que está bien rapidita. Richard, Hola. ¿Qué es la diferencia entre right away y right now? ¿Es the same? No. Right now es en este momento, ahora. Y right away es ahorita, es más rápido. Right away es más rápido. Ajá, right away es ahorita, yo salgo corriendo para allá. Right now es, sí, uh, uh, right now we're going to eat cake, pero estoy sentado y no lo estoy sirviendo. Entonces, eh, en estos minutos que vienen, ¿verdad? Pero right away es, como decía mi bisabuela Utualito, ¿verdad? Ya mismo, en este segundo yo salgo para allá. Algo, okay. algo así es. Good, any Thank other question? Ok, let's practice then. Vamos a iniciar con Guadalupe and Maribel. Ok, teacher. I need the memo break. <clears throat> Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Very good. Now, uh, Michelle and Alfredo. Mm -hmm. um, Pienso o como ustedes quieran. You, uh, I will go first. I am Mark. Okay. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Very good, perfect. Now, Rafael and Elsie Noemi. Okay. Hi, Rafael. Hi. Uh, okay. I really need that me memo break. Just a moment, please. I need to speak. To Mr. Wilson, please, is very important. Right, right away. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Rachel and uh, Daniel Sarabia. Uh, okay. I really knew that memory. Just a moment, please. Hola, buenas. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Okay, very good. Now, Daniela and Ulises. <clears throat> okay, I really need a memory. Just a moment, please. 
I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Good. Now, Irving and Veronica. Yes, ready. Hello, Irving. Irving. Hi, Veronica, how are you? Fine, Irving. Okay. Uh, I really need that memo brief. Use a moment, please. I need to speak to Mears Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Very good. Now, Oscar and Marisol. Hello, Marisol. Está Marisol, quizá no. Yo creo que no está. Bueno, le va a ayudar Maribel. Hola, comienza. Hi, Maribel. Hi. I really need that memo brief. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Perfect, very good. So, questions before we move on? Ok, este reading está bien nice, me gusta. Uh, pair word, read the email and organize the activities. Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Uh -huh, Guadalupe. Vamos a leerlo entonces. Everybody, please repeat. From. From. Daniel Ruiz. Daniel Ruiz. At travers.com. At travers.com. Subject. Subject. Very important. Very important. Very important. Tasks for this month. Tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe. Dear Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks for this month. These are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact. I really need, I really need, need to contact the first three potential customers. The first, the first three potential, potential customers. Customer. In the list from Mr. Sanchez. In the list, the from, list from Mr. Mr. Sanchez. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. You, you have three, three days to do it. it. Three hours each day. Call the new client. Call the new, the new client from the last three weeks. From the from last, the last three weeks. weeks. And give them the catalog. And I give them the catalog. Information for June. Information for June. You have two days to do it. You have two days, two days to do it. One hour each day. One, One hour, hour each day. day. It's very important to send the two latest sales report. Very, very important to send the two last sales report on May 26th. On May 26th. And they write a new welcome letter. And write a new welcome letter for the new customers. For the new customers. You have one day to do it. You have one day to do it. Four hours. Four hours. Four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. 
You have two days to do it. You have two days, have two days to do it. Do it. Two hours each day. Two, two hours, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Best regards. Best, Best regards. regards. Daniel Ruiz. Daniel, Daniel Ruiz. Ruiz. Very good. Entonces, vamos a ir viendo un par de palabras. Daniel Ruiz at. La arroba se dice at. ¿Verdad? At. Como cuando at. decimos at home. Esa misma palabra es at. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. El puntito that. El puntito tiene tres nombres. Cuando estamos hablando de cosas así como correos, páginas de internet, es dot. D O T. Dot. Cuando hablamos de números, es es point. 3.4. Y cuando hablamos de gramática, o sea, si yo les hago algún dictado un día, el otro módulo, de hecho, ya hago un dictado. Entonces, ahí es period. O sea, que si yo les estoy dictando y les digo period, no vamos a escribir period, sino que vamos a poner un puntito. Ok. Subject. ¿Qué es subject? Eh, bueno, el asunto. Asunto. Aquí en el correo sería como el asunto, era el título. Luego dice Dear Guadalupe, que era Dear. Querida. Querida. Querida Guadalupe. Very good. These are some of the tasks. ¿Qué eran tasks? Ajá. Eso era tareas. Ok. Y luego dice, I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog. ¿Qué es catalog? Un catálogo. Un catálogo, así como lo de ahí. Information for June. Uh, you have two days to do it. One hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest. ¿Qué es latest? Latest. 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 Sería los últimos, los más recientes. O sea, tendría que mandar los reportes de ventas, los dos últimos, ¿verdad? Los más recientes. Uh, o make six. And, uh, ahí hay un error, ese no es de, tendría que ser then. And then write a new welcome letter. ¿Qué sería una welcome letter? Carta de bienvenida. Una carta de bienvenida for the new customers, para los nuevos clientes. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores. ¿Qué es stores? Tienda. Tienda, very good. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards. ¿Qué era best regards? Saludos cordiales. Algo así, ¿verdad? Como saludos cordiales. Es para despedirse. Questions. Do you have any questions? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can... I can you repeat the correct pronunciation of catalogo, please? Catalog. 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 Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay. Creo que este está algo, algo fácil. No hay muchas palabras rebuscadas. Recordemos que la arroba es at y el punto es dot. Vamos a iniciar con Maribel. Arita, from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject, very important. Task for the, this month. Deep Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks for this month. I really need to contact the first three potential cost customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez to have three, days, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and then the catalog 
information for June to have two days to do it. One hour each day. It's very important to send the two late, latest, late, latest sales reports on May 26th and the right annual welcome letters for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each, each. Or each. each. each day. Organize your week. Thank you, Beth's regards. Daniel Ruiz. Perfect, thank you. Uli says. From Daniel Ruiz, that travel, that con, such a very important tax for the demand. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tax for the for this month. I really need to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, to do it. three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for Jim. You have two days to do it. Um, one or each day is very important to send to two letters sales reports in May 26 and they write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit to two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you, Brett Regards, Daniel Ruiz. Very good. Now, Guadalupe. <clears throat> From Daniel Ruiz at Travel. That's come. You said very important. Tall for this month. This is Guadalupe. There's are some of the tall for this moment. I really need you to contact the free trip potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have day to do it or a day. Call the new clients from the uh, from the last three weeks in the hearing, give them they give them they catalog, como dijo catalog, 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 inform information for the June. You have two days to do it, one house, eight day. It's very important to send the two latest. 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 Sales report on Monday. In the 26th. 26th. In the rates, a new welcome leading for the new customer. You have one day to do is for horses. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have today to do it two horse a day. Organize, organize. you with organize you with thank you, Miss Rigar, Daniel Wiss. Perfect. Thank you. Now Veronica. From Daniel Ruiz at travels.com. Subject, very important. Thanks for the month. There, Guadalupe. 
this and some in the tax tax for this for this mom. I really need to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. All the new clients for the last three weeks and they give them catalog, catalog information for John. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send to send to latest sales report on my 26 and they write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it or two hours each day. Organize your week. Okay. Thank you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Elsie, no, mí. Hola. Lo puedo decir yo que estoy en el trabajo y creo que ya voy a salir a, a manejar. Dele con todo. Bye. From Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject. Very import, important. That for this month. Dear Guadalupe. These are some of the that for this mom I really need you to con contact the first three pot potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez you have three days to do it three hours each day call the news Client from the last three with it and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it one hour each day is very important to send the to let say sale report on May 26 and uh, write a new welcome welcome letter for the new customer you have one day to do in a uh, for for finally visit the two stores in San, Santa Tecla you have two days to do it two hours each day organize you with thank you best rigor daniel ruiz very good perfect now elsie you know what i mean okay from daniel ruiz daniel ruiz at travers.com subject very important thank for this month dear guadalupe these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need to you to contact the first to potential to have the days to do three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give the, the, the catalog information for John to have two days to do it one hour each day. It's very important to send it to late sales report on May 26 and they bring a new welcome letter to for the new customer to have one day to do it four hours 
finally visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your, your week. Thank you, Beth Krieger, Daniel Ruiz. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Rachel. From DanielWizardTravels.com. Object. Very important task for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for young. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two last cells report on May 26 and they write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit to the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ray. Thank you. Now, Daniela. From Daniel Ruiz at travels.com subject very important task for this month dear guadalupe these are some of the tasks for this month i really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from mr sanchez you have three days to do it three hours each day Get the new clients for the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you. You have today to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales report on May 26 and they write a new welcome letter for the new customer, you have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best mm -hmm. regards, Daniel Ruiz. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Daniel Sarabia. From Daniel Ruiz at travel.com. Subject Very important. That's for this month. Del Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the Um, se fue el internet. For the last three week, weeks, and give them, and give them the catalog information Perfect. for John. You have today to do it on or each day. It's very important to send the two less sales reports on May 26 and they write a new welcome letter from the new customer. You have on day to do it for hours. Finally, visit to a story in Santa Tecla. You have today to do it, 
two hours each day. Organize your week. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, ¿Quién me falta? Me faltan unos tres. ¿verdad? Michelle. Okay, teacher. From Daniel Ruiz at travels.com. Subject. Very important. Important. Tax for this month. Dear Guadalupe. These are some of the tax for the this month. I really need you, you to contact the first three potential customers in the in the list from Mr. Sanchez, you have three days to do it. Three, hour, three hours a day. Call the new client for the last three weeks and give the, them the catalog information for June. You have to day to do it hours uh, each day. It's very important to send the, the to last, last day. latest letter. Sell reports on May 26th and the write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have to do, day to do it two hours each day. Organ organize your week. Thank you, best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, perfect, thank you. Bueno, no, vamos a continuar porque se nos acabó la cola. But before we finish. Hi, algún... teacher. Eh, Podría pasar. Dele, le esperamos. Ok. From Daniel Ruiz, arroba drivers.com. Subject, very important task for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mir Sanchez. You have three days uh, to, the, to do it, three hours, each day. Call the new client for the last three weeks and give the then catalog information for Fair June. Okay, uh, you have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two last uh, silence report on my 26th the TH and, the, and they write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it uh, for hours. Finally, um, this finally visit to visit the two histories stores in the histories uh, in Santa Tecla. You have today uh, to do it uh, to hours each day. Okay. Uh, organize, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Organize. Organize your week. Thank you, best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, do you have any question about the reading? Alguna pregunta duda? Recordemos que la arroba es at, at travers.com. Mm, ¿Cómo se dice punto com? Dot com. That. That. That com. Mm -hmm. Can you spell me that? D-O-T. D O. Done. Okay. Done. Okay. Good. Uh, a ver, algunas palabras que podrían ser importantes en la pronunciación. Client, recordemos que es clients. Uh, give, give them. Catalog. Catalog. Each day. Catalog. Each. 
Uh, let's see, we're about to send the two latest, the two latest sales report. The final. Mm -hmm. Let's see, letter for the new customers. Finally, uh -huh. stores. Uh, let's see, organize. Regards. Regards, best regards, yeah. Regards. Okay, perfect. Questions, questions? Um, no questions, teacher. Who will be on one on one? Ah, ahorita vamos a pasar este ahí. Ok. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ok, eh, Arabella Parada Gámez. Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. Daniel Freddy Sarabia Campos. Present. Good. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Danilo Ernesto Rodríguez Fernández. Doris Raquel Hernández González. Present. Good. Elsie Noemí Alemán Gómez. Present, teacher. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Juárez. Present, teacher. Good. Irving Alexander Díaz Rivera. Irving Osmin Rodríguez Jurado. Present teacher. Good. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Good. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Still I am. A usted le toca ahora el 101. Ok. Eh, Metsi Damaris Molina Guevara. Oscar Antonio Alvarado Martínez. Present. Good. Rafael Vladimir Romero Mancía. Santos Maribel Aquino Iraeta. Present. Good. Ulises Edgardo Jacobo Villanueva. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Susana Romero Lebrón. Present teacher. Good. And Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Ok, my friends, ¿alguna pregunta o duda con la clase de ahora? Teacher. Yes. Yo lo escucho, bueno, eh, que usted dice o pronuncia de, 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 de diferente forma, important. Ah, ok. Mire, se puede decir important, important. A veces es la T es la important. que a veces Important. Important. That is important. Important. La, ah, okay, okay. la T a veces no, no se pronuncia más que todo en inglés. Eh, americano. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Se acabó el lunes, verdad? I said que see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest very well. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. teacher. Tomorrow, Thursday. See you tomorrow. Okay, hello, Alfred, how are you? Hello, teacher. Nice. A little tired, but. Ah, oh, me too, I'm dying. Hi. <laughs> how was your day? Very hard, but was good. I mean. Like, like always. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I believe that I always want to, to go to the Friday, you know, and finish the week and then rest <laughs> a little bit and then start again, so. Just, just on, on on Saturday, you don't work with Google. I don't work on Saturdays or Sundays. Mm, okay. You have free Saturdays and Sundays all day. Yeah, that is nice. true. 
I'm planning you to start remember. classes on Saturdays and Sundays in the morning only, but I don't know. <laughs> Again. What kind of classes? Like this, online, English classes. Uh, yeah. But uh, teaching? Yeah, teaching. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> no that's very much. hard. <laughs> it's too much. Please too rest. Much. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. I'm analyzing, you know. Mm, do I do it? No, I don't do it. I still haven't decided yet, but you yeah, have, I know you have enough. You have enough money, no more. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you know. I, I actually I don't need, but but I don't know. Sometimes there is a chance, and you want to take it. And but uh -huh, you need to rest. You need to sleep. Uh, yeah. And sh spend time with your family too, with your yeah. son. Yeah, that is true. Go so go to the holy mass because you are catholic <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that so huh, i need to to do a balance right i don't know yet but yeah. anyways i need to decide okay um were you in the in the first module of english last yes okay. i was uh, how do you feel that you are learning english do you feel that you are learning something yes i i feel that i'm learning because i never take english classes uh, Mm, así como estructuradas, sino que I was learning in YouTube, on movies, on books, but I never take English class. Then I feel that I am learning a lot. Very good, perfect. And sometimes do you have a little bored? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. sometimes when everybody is learning and repeat the same. Uh, but I know that it's necessary for learn, and I like it because you have time and you have passion with everybody. Yeah, there are people in different levels, so sometimes we need yeah. to be slow, sometimes we go fast, so that depends on many things. Um, do you have any question about any topic that we have checked or from the last module? Mm, for now, no. Okay, very good. So um, in the future, sometimes what happens is that sometimes the, the person that is scheduled to be in the one-on-one is not here. So when that happens, I will ask, hey, nobody's here, so who wants to be in the one-on-one? So if you want to practice a little bit, you can say, hey, me, I'm going to stay. And of we course, practice. <laughs> always I want. <laughs> yeah, so we can practice. Uh, on, on Mondays, I take English classes with an American teacher. Ah, that's good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's only on Mondays and only just uh, one hour. Ah, okay. Then yeah, but that is good. Huh? A, a little bit, but it's with American and she don't speak nothing on the Spanish. <laughs> yeah, but um, you are you are good with that that kind of level, so you won't have any problem. That was very good. I'm proud of you. Sometimes I have problem because I don't understand everything but i i try <laughs> yeah that's the good thing about that okay Alfredo, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight i hope you have a very good night and see you tomorrow thank you teacher see you tomorrow and don't worry more no right <laughs> it's not a good idea <laughs> okay thank That's you well. bye bye